Damn. Yeah, that's me. I bet you wonder how I got in this situation, huh? Well, let me take you to a few days earlier. Washington goes into phase one, so here's a closure email from my gym. This is a message telling the homie that, hey, I bought some stuff to make a makeshift squat rack at his crib. And here's the makeshift squat rack. So here's the setup on the first day. We didn't use it that day, but uh, this is a setup. But you see these mats right here? I decided to make like a 15 mat squatting area, but little did I know using the cheap mats was almost going to be the death of me. I wish I would have just kept it like this instead of doing that. Hey, what's going on? What up? What up? What up? It's your boy AD back with another video. And today I got uh, day one of the day two, uh, two part day series that I'm about to be doing. Um, so I'm going to be doing a max out squat session today and then I'm going to be doing a max out bench session tomorrow. Um, I wanted to do this video to pretty much show how uh, a year's progression of uh, just my workout journey, my lifting journey. This is just my journey. Uh, today, uh, this year has been uh, just riddled with just little injuries and stuff like that. So that's what you guys actually got to see. The uh, first part of this video is actually how I hurt my hamstring. And instead of me, because I'm such a knucklehead, instead of staying off of it and nursing my hamstring and stuff like that, because I really messed it up, I just fought through it. And fighting through it was actually killing my mobility. So when I I guess you could say built up around it. I built the tolerance around it where I was actually working on my, um, where I would just not go down as deep so I wouldn't affect my hamstring and that in turn inf uh, like affected my actual squatting stuff like that my depth and everything like that so I've been fighting the injury and then after I got finally got over the injury it's like now okay you modified your squat so you can just keep squatting instead of staying off of it um so now I've just been working on my mobility I haven't really been working on strength training for a while like I haven't really worked on really getting stronger in the gym as far as numbers wise and numbers on the bar in about four or five months it's all been mobility getting lower being able to just to be more flexible and stuff like that have more mobility in the uh, gym so now since i felt like i've done a little bit better and stuff like that with my mobility like night and day i feel like my squats getting better I'm actually just going to finish up the year with the squat session. So no matter how the squat session goes, I'm going to be happy with the numbers because I know that my mobility is better. Even if the numbers don't show it right now, the mobility is better. So there's only nothing but going up in 2022. So I'm happy about that. But anyway, let me get ready. Let me get uh, get warmed up and stuff like that on the squat bar. And then we're about to just jump into it. So anyway, stay tuned for the next part. So let's get it. Get it, 495. Um, I don't know what's going to go. Let's see if you get it.
All right, you guys, so I got no business trying this out. Uh, but what I realized though is that that's actually the first time I hit 495 without actual knee wraps. So I hit these with knee sleeves on this time and I didn't hit it with knee wraps. So I'm actually gonna go up one more time. So I'll put some tens on here right quick on the ends. So I'm gonna try to do, uh, what is that, uh, 495? So that's uh, 515. I'm gonna be trying to do 515 this time but with knee wraps instead of knee sleeves. Um, so we're gonna see what's going on if I fail or if I hit this. But if I hit this, I'm gonna be happy. 515 is about uh, 40 pounds, 30 pounds away from what I did in college. So that means I've dropped 135 pounds and I only lost about 30 pounds worth of muscle. Not, not 30 pounds like worth of muscle, but 30 pounds in strength. And I'm 135 pounds lighter. So um, yeah, I'm happy about that. So let's anyway, let me set this camera up and let's get it. technique and I got that piece and just so you guys know I take it off let's go Whew. snap dear god I'm done I'm concluding squat at that huh I'm done I'll take it 515 it's in the bell squats are done I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for bench hey we're going for 405 on bench tomorrow I gotta do it now let's get it y'all talk to you guys tomorrow let's get it all right, it is day two. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am tired as I don't know what. I only had like three hours of sleep last night. I don't know why. Just couldn't go to sleep. And then I just woke up because I had some other stuff to do, some other obligations. Anyway, I was trying to hype up. I got my little uh, pre-workout right here. So it actually came in the mail today. So I got to get some of that before. So I guess that came in handy. But anyway, I'm gonna get in here, get warmed up and everything like that. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's get it. And then depending on how 365 move, I might skip 380, uh, 385 and go straight to 405. I want to save this strength. I want to hit 405 today. So anyway, let me get this for a double and then we're about to get some singles in. So let's get it. Try to do this for one. Um, I don't know what's going on right now, but the pinch nerve in my left pec, it's been happening like ever since. Like I've tried to do 365 on four other occasions, and actually I've hit all 365 and 385 actually for all other occasions. But every time I get to 365, my left pec for some reason starts to pinch, and I don't know what's going on right now. It's kind of feeling bad. But anyway, I'm gonna hit this right quick, and then we're gonna see how this depends on how this moves. If I go to 385, we're gonna try 405. But anyway, let's get it. Yeah, like my left, my left pec right now is on fire. Um, I don't know, that didn't move too, too good, too hot. I don't know if I should try 385 or 405. 
I wanted to really hit 405 today. All right, you guys, I'm attempting 405 for the uh, end of the year. It's gonna be the last max out of the year right here. Uh, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm shaking like a stripper right now, and I'm not even underneath the weight yet. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm believing the best. I'm taking it back to high school. Till I Collapse by Eminem was always my max out song every time. And I'm taking it back, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing that right now. Till I Collapse. Gotta do it. Anyway, let's get it. Let's go. Come on. I just uh, failed on that. I'm, I want to try one more time though. I'm going to wait like four minutes and I'm going to try to hop back underneath this. Give me one more time. I, I got it. Like That didn't feel as heavy as it was. But anyway, let's try it one more time. Alright y'all. This is attempt number two. I'm going to try it. If I don't get this, this is it for the day. 365 is going to be my max. Although I know I can hit 385. I just didn't want to gas myself out because I know I wanted to try 405. So, it is what it is. I'll leave off with the year for 365, but just know 2022, I'm coming with a bang. So, it's gonna be nothing. Let's get it. Come on, you got this one. You got this one. Let's go. Yeah, I used my first and second life for this. Um, that's it for the day. Uh, four or five is an L. But hey, that's all I have. That means I got more work to do. 2022, I'm coming with a bang. I don't care. My next max out session, I'm hitting 405. And that's on me. Anyway, I appreciate you guys for tuning in because this is my max out uh, session for uh, legs and max out session for uh, uh, chest. So anyway, I appreciate you guys for tuning in with me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. But before we leave, you know what I'm going to have to ask you to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification, and we'll share it with your people. I'm trying to grow this any fitness family. The only way we can do that is by more eyes seeing the video. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.